All right. Happy Wednesday. It is uh, December 30th, 2020. And if you're watching this on the replay, welcome. And uh, well, today we're going to be uh, we're going to be talking about Brand Creators Academy. It's going to be a blatant pitch about the Academy. Yes, I'm kind of being funny, but that's what I want to talk about here today, because uh, right now, currently, depending on when you are watching this, we are open for enrollment to a private group of people in order to be invited. You have to go through and fill out a survey. Um, but I wanted to kind of go through five different things or five reasons why you should consider joining Brand Creators Academy. And uh, why not just come on here and kind of talk about it? Uh, the funny thing is a lot of people think selling is bad or promoting is bad. It doesn't have to be. Uh, I believe that you can talk about your product or the way that you help people or a piece of content and drive people there and still deliver value, even if they never buy. Like that's the whole thing here in a nutshell. If you are watching this and you've attended any of the coffee talks, you've probably joined this coffee talk and have received something in return. And that could be a daily dose of, uh, of some motivation, some inspiration. Uh, maybe it's uh, getting a question answered that you had real quick, or maybe it was just being around other like-minded people. All right. So I want you to think about that in your own brand and your business moving forward is sometimes you just got to be upfront and just put it out there. And that's what I'm going to do here today. So there you go. All right. That's what we're going to be talking about. I'm actually going to share my screen here in a minute. Um, but uh, I also wanted to talk a little bit about a call that I was on yesterday. It was about an hour and a half call with one of our Brand Creators Academy members. I actually wrote an email about it this morning and uh, it was with Octavio and uh, it was really awesome because, well, about seven, eight months ago, I think it was like seven months ago, he said, uh, he had nothing started and now He's got a whole bunch of stuff going and it's really cool and it's a lot of fun because now we're able to play the game. And I talked about that this morning in my email that if you want to play the game, you got to get in the game, right? And uh, that's what we do inside of the academy is we really focus on what needs to be done next and how to make it simple, but then also how to hold yourself accountable and get the support you need. But uh, I'm going to highlight that a little bit with Octavio because it's a fresh, a fresh story in my mind that I want to share with you. And I'll, I'll, I'll kind of go through what we're going to or what he's going to focus on in the first part of 2021. Um, so anyway, I wanted to kind of pull my notes up here. Guys, let me know if you are watching this live or even if you're on the replay, let me know in the comments that you're here. And uh, I can go ahead and say hello and see who's here. And I can also stall here a little bit so I can make sure that I get my notes up because I had some notes that I wanted to share with you and we'll see if I can find them here. Yeah, there they are. I love it when I have some notes that I can kind of go through. Uh, all right. So like I said, five reasons why you should consider joining BCA in 2021. Again, if you are watching this after the fact, uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw a link up here or at least a uh, URL. If you go to brandcreatorsacademy.com, whenever it'll tell you exactly who it's for, what it, you know, what we do on the inside, all of that stuff. And then you can apply to be part of the Academy. Now, if you're watching this on December 30th, all right, this is our last day to be open to our private invites. So we're inviting people privately. Uh, that's how we're doing it moving forward. So in order to be invited, you have to either apply, fill out a survey, uh, or go through one of our other trainings, all right? Um, so if you are interested in getting that private invite before we close down enrollment here tonight at midnight Eastern time, head on over to brandcreatorsacademy.com and then just fill out that quick survey. I will get that survey here today, and then what I will do before tonight is I will review it, and then from there, if we're a good fit, we'll go ahead and send you an invite and then you can join, all right? Also, if you are watching this and you already applied and you have not yet received that uh, that link, well, go ahead and message me, whether it's here and let me know or just you know, send me an email, scott at brandcreators.com. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Brandon. What's up? How we doing? Salma, what's up? Karen, what's up? Karen, it's, it's, uh, it's snowing there? Lots and lots of snow. Is that what you got? 
Uh, Ruth is here. Uh, what's up, Ruth? Good to have you. Love the Hutchins. Uh, Ruth and Doug Hutchins. Uh, BCA is awesome. Thank you for that. Uh, and Kay is in the house. What's up, Kay? Good morning, coffee crew. BCA will give you the roadmap in building your brand with no fluff. I love that last part. No fluff, no BS. I don't like that either. I like to get right to it. Uh, so let's do that. Let's get right to it. Uh, all right. So here's what I want to do, though. I want to go through this because I think it's important. Whether you whether you ever join or not, I want you to just look at this as like, okay, these are things that also could be distractions or could be the reason why you're not getting the results you want to get. All right. So number one, the number one reason, and again, guys, this is a blatant pitch, by the way, like I am literally pitching you right now. Okay. Now it's, I'm not like going buy this or else this will happen. I'm not saying that at all, but I, that's why I even put it in the title of this. I said blatant pitch because I'm going to basically talk about brand creators Academy here during this this live. All right. And I'm going to obviously make it helpful. I'm going to share with you uh, a, a conversation that I had with Octavio, one of our members yesterday, and we kind of mapped out his next first quarter. And I'll talk about what he's going to do. So number one, the number one reason is because there's no BS, there's no shiny objects, and we give you a step-by-step -step focused training, all right, that will lead you through our five-stage roadmap. That five-stage roadmap basically looks like this. One, stage one is your validation. And that is where a lot of people get hung up. All right. We have, we have a full roadmap that takes you through the validation process. We even talk about how to identify a good niche. And then from there, how to validate it. And by the way, Octavio, who I was on the call with yesterday, who has a whole bunch of stuff going on now, but didn't last year, uh, he didn't have his niche picked when he joined BCA. And now he does, and he's got over 50 pieces of content. He's got a digital product. He's got an email list and he's building uh, an order bump as we speak. Uh, he's building additional content that will be product-based. All of that stuff wasn't there. He's in the game now. He's playing. All right. So he was able to follow a step-by-step -step process and it's actually gotten even more refined since, uh, since he joined. All right. So basically no matter if you ever join us or not, you just want to avoid distractions, right? You might be hearing about this app now called Clubhouse. I, no joke. I got uh, I got a uh, an email, not an email, a text message yesterday from a friend of mine and said, hey, uh, want to join me on Clubhouse? Not sure if you're there yet. And I said, sorry, I'm going to sit this one out. <laughs> That's literally what I said. My exact words, I said, sorry, I'm going to sit this one out. I'm not focusing on Clubhouse. Okay. Now that may change down the road, but right now I'm not focusing on it. I'm not focusing on Instagram. Like I am kind of like staying away from that stuff right now. Cause I know it's a distraction for me. It's not where I want to focus my time. Right? So that's what we focus on in BCA, by the way, it's always about how do we simplify? How do we make it feel lighter, not heavier about all of the things that you have to do? We do not want to add more things. We want to simplify. At least I do. And that's what we also, uh, you know, talk about inside the Academy. So no BS, basically we're not gonna, we're not gonna say, you know, well, you know, this could work if, you know, if maybe you do this, but really it's not going to work. We're not going to give you false hope. We're only going to be doing things that we know have worked in the past, whether it's with us or other people. So no BS, no shiny objects. We're not going to be like, oh, now we're going to have a training for clubhouse, not doing that. Okay. And we're going to stay the course. All right, so that's number one. Get rid of distractions and you will have me reminding you to avoid those distractions. I actually just had someone last week, which I think turned into a coffee talk, it was Gabriella, who uh, posted in our BCA private community and asked about Instagram. And I had just gotten off a hot seat with her and I said, Gabriella, time out. We don't want to go down that road. We got all this other stuff. We got plenty of stuff we got to do over here. Why are we adding this other thing that really doesn't, it doesn't give us what we're doing here, what we're going after. It's not going to give us an evergreen asset. We really focus on in the Academy about evergreen assets. And I'll talk about that here in a minute. So number one, just no BS, no shiny objects. It's like, let's keep it basic. Let's follow the five stage process in this roadmap. All right. Okay. Number two, the second reason why you should join Brand Creators Academy is 
We only focus on proven concepts and the long-term play. That's it. I don't want to go after this new strategy that seems like it might be working because to me, that's a shortcut when there's other things that have been proven over and over and over again. All right. Email is still working, but guess what? There's a new bot thing that's happening over here. And if you get that bot, it's going to automatically send people a message on Instagram and then we can spam Instagram people and do follow for follow and all of that crap. I'm not playing there. I'm playing in proven stuff that's happened over and over and over again and still works to this day. Email is just an example. Creating content, that's just another example, right? Creating digital products, just an example, right? But all of those things proven to work. So why not just keep focusing on the things that work? Why, why, why chase the shiny stuff? We don't need to, right? So we only focus on proven concepts and the long-term play, whether it's my experience or other people's that we're modeling. Okay. Or some of our members. Number three, I talked about this here a second ago is we work on creating evergreen assets Now, not just assets. These are evergreen assets. What does that mean? What does evergreen mean? It means if I create a piece of content today and I put it on Google, okay. Or on my website, Google, not on Google. I put it on my website and Google picks it up. They rank me. I've got a piece of content that could bring traffic to my website year after year after year, month after month, day after day, okay? If I create an Instagram post, that thing is long gone after 24 hours. And I'm not just saying a story disappears. If you put something in your feed on Instagram, are people really going to go back there? They're never going to search for it. They may be snooping through your feed. You know what I mean? Evergreen, even Facebook, this right here, this is this is an evergreen asset in a sense that it lives on Facebook, but I'm taking this and I'm making it even more evergreen because now what I'm doing is I'm creating a blog post on my website through a podcast episode, maybe, right? That then I could, I could take this and make it even more evergreen, okay? By leveraging that content. We talk a lot about content. We talk a lot about leveraging content and working smarter, not harder. That's it in a nutshell. So we work on creating evergreen assets that you control and a few of them, like I'd mentioned, email. If we're going to build an email list, that's evergreen in my eyes, that it's something that I can use over and over and over again. Perfect example, Matt, one of our BCA members built his email list. I think he's got about 3000 people on there now, but recently just did another test, built a list of 140 people or 150 people. I think it was, he ended up selling six of his eBooks through building that list. And now he's cut the cost of building his list in half. And now he's got a list that if they buy one more thing from him, it's break even. And then after that, it's full profit. That email list is going to help him drive traffic to his website, drive traffic to his Facebook, drive traffic to whatever. So to me, that's an asset that we want to build and we want to take care of. Okay. Digital products, same thing. Once I create a digital product, I'm able to leverage that over and over and over again. Okay. Octavio and Matt, both, uh, they both created their own digital products. Well, yesterday on the call with Octavio, we're talking about, okay, your product's created now. What's the next thing? Order bump. What's an order bump? It's an, it's an extra add on that we could bolt onto that product. But the cool thing is, is we actually through that call, we identified another digital product that could act as a bump or it could act as a front end offer. So now we can take those assets and we can play with those. Or I'll give you an example. Here's a great example. Okay. We have a lot of digital assets because I've been doing this a long time. Okay. Inside of Brand Creators Academy right now, when you join, you're going to have full access as a bonus to Brand Accelerator Live 2019 and 2020. You're going to get them for free. Those are digital assets that people pay for. Okay. People that are not part of the Academy, they're going to pay 250 bucks for, uh, 2019. Cause that was a two day event. And then the workshop that we did this year, I believe is 149. Okay. So you're going to pay almost 400 bucks for those. If you're in the Academy, digital assets, boom, I can use them wherever I want. I can use it as a bonus to encourage you to join. I could use it as a, you know what? I'm going to do a flash sale on it. I'm going to take it from 400 and I'm going to price it for 50% off for three days. I'm going to run a promotion. That's how we leverage assets. Okay. It's not just a one-off sale. Okay. So again, that's digital products, content, 
Same idea here. When we create content, we want to create content that could bring us traffic over and over and over again, not just one off. Okay. So think about that. The next time you're going to create a piece or is this going to fade out or die? Okay. As it gets buried, right? I don't want it to get buried. I want it to stay, you know, active. Okay. And that's why we want to think about that when we're creating our content as well. All right. So that's number three, work on creating evergreen assets that you control. Okay. Number four, accelerate growth by surrounding yourself with like-minded people. And this is a big one because so many people, we're actually having a conversation inside of our academy right now on how do we take our accountability to the next level. Some people need daily accountability. Some people need weekly. We do two monthly calls as accountability. I post every single Monday for people to check in as accountability. Okay. Some people need a little more. Some people need a little less. But we are surrounding ourselves with people that understand our mission and our vision and what we're trying to do. And there's power behind that. Uh, some of our members said that our academy, our community is like a mastermind. Now I've run masterminds. I've had masterminds that were $25,000 a year and I belonged to, uh, or I joined uh, masterminds that were $25,000 a year. Okay. People have said that what we're doing here is like a high level mastermind, but it's part of our academy. We're kind of including that. Okay. And it's kind of just taken on a life of its own. All right. So accelerating the growth by surrounding yourself with like-minded people and also being able to see what they're doing. So an example, Matt, we just did a hot seat call with him as an update. Hey, what happened since the last time we talked? Oh, I built the digital product. I, I uh, sold, you know, through doing an email promotion. Okay. What's next? And then we started talking about what's next. Well, you're going to start sending emails as a promotion out to your list and you're going to run a 50% off sale. Did that, got some more sales. So we're able to see what other people are doing because we're totally transparent. And then we get to learn from those people. And that's what we use as hot seats. Uh, so this way here, we can, we can leverage each other's experiences. And it's so very important. So number four, that's what you get when you join Brand Creators Academy is you get to accelerate the growth by surrounding yourself with like-minded people. And it's so, so powerful. These are active brand creators, guys, okay? All right, and then number five, there's another big one, is you get support and accountability so you never get stuck and get the push when needed. Some of us need that push. Some of us need a little tap. Some of us need a kick in the butt every now and then, right? It's the support piece and the accountability. Some people, they want to join a course and that's fine. We have training that acts as like a course, right? Each stage has its own, own area of training. Okay. But you don't necessarily just want that. You want, well, what happens when I have questions? What happens when I want to see other people that have already been through this and maybe some mistakes they made, or maybe some successes that they've had. That's where the true power comes in is being able to hop on a call with myself and Chris Schaefer and any of the other, other members that come and join us live. And you get to ask direct questions because you're right there. Let's say that you're building your email list and you're like, you know, Scott, I want you guys to look at my lead magnet. Would you do that? Sure. Hop on the call and we'll go ahead and check it out. Right? So sure. Why not? Let's do that. So that's that support and the accountability. So you never get stuck and we keep you moving. All right. And sometimes you need a little push. All right. So those are the five things. That's just five. We have more, but that's five really positive things. And if that sounds interesting to you or something that you'd like to be a part of, then go to the link that I have down there in the lower third there, brandcreatorsacademy.com. And that will take you to the page that explains everything. And you will be able to apply, fill out that short, short little survey. And then we will send you a direct link, private link, um, if we think that you're a good fit or even at the right place at the right time right now in your journey, if you're not, we'll let you know and we'll say, Hey, come back when you're at this point. All right. Cause we want to make sure everyone's the right fit. And we want to make sure that when you, when you're applying and joining that you are looking to really go to where we're going as far as building that brand, right? If you came to us and said, I want to build a software company, I would probably say it's probably not the right thing for you. Now, if you said, I want to build a software company, but I want to learn how to create content, build a website, build an email list, I'd say, sure, come on in. I would need more details there, but we always want to make sure that it's the right fit for the group. Okay. 
So again, I'm just going to, I'm just going to recap these five reasons why you should join BCA in 2021. This is my blatant pitch, by the way. Okay. All right. So number one, there's no BS, no shiny objects. We're going to stay focused. We are going to follow a step-by-step -step roadmap, five stages. Okay. Number two, we only focus on proven concepts and we only focus on the long-term plan. Now there's little milestones that we're going to hit, but it's always about the long-term plan. Number three, work on creating evergreen assets. So when we're spending time creating something, we're going to get more leverage out of it, not just create something once and it's done and it's gone, right? We want to leverage that email list, digital product content, those types of things. Number four, accelerate your growth by surrounding yourself with like-minded people. Another huge, huge benefit there. And then number five, get the support and the accountability so you never get stuck and you get the push that you needed or that, is, that when you need it, you get that push, but you also get that support, which is a critical piece for you to be able to get like literally us to be able to see your stuff. And hey, if you want a hot seat session, all you need to do is request one. And when we have an opening, You'll get to jump in a hot seat and we'll dissect your business in that one area that you want to focus on next. And then we get to share it with the group and then everyone learns from it. And you see how that works? It's just about sharing. All right. So there you go, guys. That's my blatant pitch on five reasons why you should join Brand Creators Academy 2021. So this way here, you can kick off the year right. You can get focused, tune everything else out. Okay. And only, only get focused, only get focused on the things that really truly matter. So this way here, you can simplify this process and you can just show up, know what you got to work on and just stay focused. All right. So guys, you have any questions on that before uh, we wrap up today? Uh, and also I probably should do that. Hey, Aldo, what's up? How you doing? Derek, I didn't know about Clubhouse until you mentioned it, but it's all over the place. And now I see it all the time. And even on TV, it sounds like the new thing. Sure it is, um, but I don't care <laughs> because it's it's not it's not going to be something that I'm going to focus on right now. I'm not going to fall into that trap, if you will. Now it may be great for some people, but right now, if you don't have your website up and running, if you have not started to develop content, if you like, if you have Clubhouse, I don't even know how it works, but if you have it, you're going to drive people somewhere. Where are you going to drive them? Are you just going to depend on Clubhouse to be able to hang out and? Kind of have these little mini groups. I, I don't know how it works even. Um, for me, I'm going to create content just like I'm doing here. I'm going to continue to help and serve my market and I'm going to build my email list and I'm going to keep sending emails and I'm going to keep making digital products. Like that's it. Boom, boom, boom. That, that's all I'm going to focus on right now. Will that change down the line once I get everything kind of up and running and I feel comfortable? I feel like we're, we're onto something here. Like we, we got a good hold of this and I want to go, let me look at this this other thing over here. Does that add value to what I'm doing? And can that get me more attention? Cause it really, it's about attention. Can I get more attention without spending more time or is that my time going to be better spent on something else? That's always what it looks like. Troy, what's up, man? Good morning to you. Uh, let's see. We got to make 2021 the year to stop buying shiny objects. I agree. Let's stand together. Stop buying shiny objects. All right. Don't do it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Number six. What else are you going to do? What do you mean? Alapandro? Uh, I agree, Derek. Uh, don't forget your coffee. Thank you, Derek. I love Derek because he always reminds me that. Oh, uh, let's see. Alapandro having followers implies that you are leading them somewhere. Landing page. Yes. You absolutely will need that. So, so yeah, if, if you have, if you have uh, attention over here, do you remember Periscope? Periscope was a big thing. I was on Periscope and I would show up and get three, 400 people on there instantly live. What would I do with that? I would lead them to a land landing page that I would hopefully get them to come on my email list. That's what I did. Okay. So if I was to do it, that's the, that's what I would be doing. I'd be creating a lead magnet to try to get people to come over to get on my email list. Uh, I like this Salma, a house without foundation will crumble. True. Uh, okay. So Aldo says, do you do a bit of YouTube? I mean, if it's worth it to build an email list and drive traffic to a website, 
Okay, I've got mixed feelings about YouTube as well. Now, YouTube is great as far as it's a search engine. People are going to search that platform for many years to come. And if you have content that's ranking, you will, you will show up. The problem with it is it's very competitive. Now, if you've got, if that's your main thing, and I've talked about this before, so kind of like recycling content or repurposing content. If you, if you feel like video is a better avenue for you, create the video, post it on YouTube. Why not? And then from there, take that, that video strip the, either the audio, make a podcast or strip the, the uh, text from it and get it transcribed, put it on a blog, you know, start getting traffic that way. You can repurpose that and recycle it in a sense. So that's what I would do now. YouTube, I think it's a great channel, but it, subscribers are subscribers. I think right now, uh, I think I got like 28,000 subscribers. And it's so, so low as far as like the engagement, like some of my videos, they're only getting like 40, 50 views when I first post them because YouTube is like, well, we're going to restrict some of your reach because you're not talking about Amazon anymore, right? Because some of my videos that were getting more of the traffic was about Amazon. I stopped talking about Amazon. They're like, well, the algorithm doesn't understand that just yet. Now I am going to be doing a little experiment here. I've got someone that's going to be doing a little experiment for me. And um, we're going to test a couple things. I will report back to you on that. But to your point, if you do a bit of YouTube, yes, you want to take those people and drive them to your landing page. So as you're talking about something, it would be like, you know, it'd be like me doing a video on uh, email list building. I'd be like, yeah, in section four, email list building in the brand creators playbook, uh, I talk about creating a lead magnet. Today, I want to, I want to walk you through that lead magnet process. And oh, by the way, if you want to grab the full copy, where I go through all of the list building stuff, go to brandcreatorsbook.com. You would go there and you could purchase it, right? Now, if I had a lead magnet that was free, you could do the same thing, checklist, whatever. Um, so yes, I agree with that. Uh, Karen, yes, I did see that. And yes, we will set up a hot seat. Karen is one of our BCA members. And yes, we will do another hot seat with Karen so we can kind of uh, see where we're at and where we're going. And then we'll record that. And then the Academy will get to see that. And Karen is just, again, I think a machine when it comes to creating content and just a go-getter. Um, and that's the type of people that we love to have in BCA. Um, let's see, Salama, what pages should you absolutely have before making a website live? Uh, okay. I'll give you this about page. So either about us or about you. Okay. That I would say any type of disclaimers, or if you are talking about, uh, if you have affiliate stuff, you would want to have a, an affiliate disclaimer, whether it's a page or if it's just in a widget, you'd want to make sure of that. And then I think basically you just want your first blog post. That's it. Make that thing live. So we're talking like two, three pages maybe, or posts. Um, so many people overcomplicate it. They think, okay, I got to have everything in place. I got to have my menu. I got to have my nav. I've got to have, you know, at least five posts before I post everything. No, that's not true. Just post it, you know? So not much. You don't need much. Aldo, no problem. You are very, very welcome. Um, so guys, um, that's what I wanted to do here today. I wanted to talk about Brand Creators Academy. Oh, you know what I'll do here too? Let me add this. Let me add this into the stream. Uh, this is, uh, this is the, the sales page for the Academy. I'll just kind of run through it real quick. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So basically, like you said, we got hot seats. We do bonus case study stuff. We have a case study running right now. We have a second one that's run, that's been running around the same time. We're about to reveal that in uh, Q1 of, uh, of, of, uh, 2021. We're going to be revealing that niche. We do our live calls. We've got, uh, obviously the playbook is in there that we follow. We also have a new roadmap that's in there, a five stage roadmap. Um, we, uh, we do our Facebook lives inside of there, uh, either Facebook lives or zoom calls. We have our courses in there, which we have, you know, a bunch of training in there, but it's all, it's all streamlined to fit into our five stage roadmap. Um, so you got that. And then down here, you get access to all the past and current trainings, which the value is probably more than $5,000, two monthly live strategy and Q&A calls valued at over $500 each and every time we do those. You get access to the Q&A call vault with 22 currently in there right now. There's probably more. We also also have a, a really cool uh, player in there right now that you can search through all of the past ones and they're all transcribed. 
Um, that's valued over two grand. And then access to 11 past hot seat calls. I think that's up to 12 now. And there's another one that's going to be going in there. So that's over $1,100 value. And then access to our exclusive BCA private community. That's priceless. Total value, $8,600. Right now, you can join for as little as $99 a month, which is, let's do the math, three bucks a day. That's a cup of coffee, right? That's a, uh, actually, <laughs> I just got one. I don't get coffees much anymore out. Um, I got a uh, pumpkin spice latte that my daughter got me kind of um, wanting to try. And uh, that thing was like $4.50. It's crazy. I got a venti. Um, so it's less than that. All right. And I know that we all spend three bucks a day on something that doesn't come back and give us a return like this education and this support can give you. So that's that. You also can, uh, we have a quarterly option and a yearly option as well. Um, it's also risk-free. Uh, I've even put this in here, which we never usually do, but I say, you know what, if you're accepted and you get into BCA, if for whatever reason, after 14 days, you don't love it, just send us an email and we'll give you a, a full refund. No questions asked. Uh, we celebrate. And I love this emoji that uh, Ty Linda actually posted this. She's uh, one of our members. Uh, she says, when I started, Amazon was 98% of my sales. Even though my Amazon sales are up 60%, it's now only 74% of my sales. Yay. My website and other traffic channels are growing. So that's pretty cool. Um, and that's just some Q and a, and then we just have a bunch of people that are saying what they like about it. What I love about brand creators Academy is where we are all building a future proof brand step-by-step, step. uh, Dave D here watching Scott and Chris build a brand and mimic. The process has been so helpful. Scott and Chris are always there inside the group to answer any questions and show up on a video to answer direct directly to members. This group is the best. And yet, by the way, Chris does that a little bit more than me because um, it's a lot of times it's a technical question. We had someone that had a problem with their Facebook ads that they were running and Chris just fired up his uh, his uh, computer and shot a screencast video walking through her account, by the way, and um, and getting that problem solved. And so what kind of, I mean, what other groups are doing that? Are you having someone that's coming in and looking at your specific problem, shooting a video directly in the group for you? I don't know of any to be honest, for this price, especially, um, of course, myself and Chris Schaefer, uh, let's see, I've built more of my website and traffic source since joining and it feels great. The support and sharing of the members is so helpful. That's Robin. This is Matt, my buddy, Matt paid fireman, by the way, full time. Um, they lay out day by day, a day by day plan to get you started. And I'm already seeing organic traffic to my website. This was done a while ago. He's already seeing sales on a digital product. He's seeing traffic. He's email list is growing, man. He is, uh, he's crushing it. Um, oh, we've got Austin here. It's not a, it's not just about selling products on one platform. It's about building a real business. And that is so true. Um, the training is like no other it's world-class and is designed to get you from zero to a hundred. That's Michael. Michael's awesome. Uh, and then Dean, Dean, actually we did a hot seat with Dean. Uh, he bought a website recently and we did a hot seat call inside the Academy and they, we actually revealed a niche and everything. And we talk about just a couple of things that he can do immediately to grow that thing. So he bought it. It's already doing about $1,500 a month. Uh, in, um, in revenue. And I believe we can double or triple that probably in the next six months. Um, and he says, it's literally like taking baby steps, going through the process. And I never, uh, once felt overwhelmed, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, so I can go on and on that. There's your different options. As far as joining, I'm just scrolling through our sales page. Basically, uh, there's a video here if you want to go watch it, but I really think this is so true. The brand building toolkit and community of motivated entrepreneurs who are creating a future-proof lifestyle business that affords them time and freedom. That is our goal. And if you are about that life, this is a great group for you. If it's about the Lambro <laughs> life, as far as having Lamborghinis and uh, girls in bikinis, probably not the best group for you. Probably not. Just saying. Uh so anyway, we've just got some other things here that I kind of talk about. If you want to go read all of this, you can just go to brandcreatorsacademy.com. Um, but everything is, is laid out and, and so simple to follow. Um, oh, this is pretty cool here. I should probably go through this real quick. Uh, this was an update that Ty Linda did uh, inside the Academy. This is what I mean. This is what we do in the Academy too. Like a lot of people will report their updates. Um, but Facebook, uh, back in November 19, she had 3881 followers. Uh, fast forward to, it was uh, 420. So this was back in 19. This is in 20. Uh, 5931 followers, 2050, she added 
in the increase here on the Facebook group went from, uh, let's see, 840 to 2000. Uh, the Instagram, she does have Instagram 300 to 1300 Pinterest, uh, went from 58 followers, 470,000 impression. Uh, oh, that's what she has. So she started it in January. That's what she's gotten so far. A uh, monthly website was only a hundred visits. And then, uh, at the time of this was 2,500. I know that's more now YouTube three subscribers now has 597, which I know that is more sales increased 70. Uh, percent from this last this time last year increased sales from the website too although amazon is still 97 percent this is what else i would love to change which she is doing by the way uh and then karen who's on with us right now it can be a very lonely uh it can be very lonely being an entrepreneur being in brand creators academy gives me an opportunity to talk to other entrepreneurs the support is unlike anything i've ever experienced come join us so i love that and then Ruth says here, the Hutchins team uh, joined BCA last November, and it's the best decision we made. I absolutely love this community. Uh, Jamie, Jamie's awesome. Uh, I know the money I put into, into BCA was the best money I have ever spent. Dave, you over deliver in BCA. I thought I only hear from you a couple times a month with a live video call, uh, then watch you as you release videos. But uh, he's saying it's a lot more than that, which it is. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to keep reading these. There's a lot here. If you guys want to go check them out, you're more than welcome to. Um, but that's BCA, guys. That's Brand Creators Academy. We will be closing enrollment to our private invites uh, tonight. So uh, that's 11.59 uh, p.m. Eastern time. If you have not gotten that invite yet and you did already apply, send me an email or a direct message here on Facebook. You can always reach me, scott at brandcreators.com, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I'll be monitoring my email today quite a bit because I know that um, that will be happening. Um, so yeah, if you want to get that invite before we close tonight, head on over to brandcreatorsacademy.com. Check it out there. There's a little video of me walking you through exactly what you'll receive and, and who it's for and who it's not for. Um, but let me go ahead and see if we got any other questions here real quick. Oh, it looks like we have some other comments here. Uh, okay. Alapandro, good question. What is the characteristics to avoid when creating content in order for the content to be evergreen, understand evergreen, but what would make content not evergreen? Okay. Let's say that you are going to focus on Instagram as your traffic channel. Okay. Let's say that you create a little mini video and that video is going to be a little tip on how to catch more bass. You're going to post it. Most likely Instagram will show it to a small portion of your followers. And then once that is done, it's pretty much done. No one's going to go to Instagram and search for a bass fishing tip. Okay. So that's to me, not evergreen. If you took that same video, posted it on Facebook, you've got more reach there. Plus you can turn it into an ad. Um, but you then can take that post it on YouTube, now it becomes evergreen. So even though it lives on these other platforms, does not make it evergreen in my eyes, okay? I want it to be working for me all the time. So the example is, if I post a video on YouTube, that is evergreen. A year from now, I can still get people to search for that and find it. YouTube or uh, Facebook and Instagram, not so much. Doesn't mean I wouldn't, I wouldn't post there. It just means that that wouldn't be my first place that I would post. And that content needs to be evergreen. Or if I create a blog post, that's evergreen. It lives on. It can be searched and found years from now. That's evergreen, okay? Hopefully that helped you. Uh, Salma, have uh, investigates any other community platform like Circle to instead to Facebook to community and membership? Yes, I have looked into that and I will not be going to them. I've seen other groups fold because of using those other groups. Um, I do not want to go down that road. Um, I think it's hard enough to get engagement on Facebook, even though I have a private Facebook group for Brand Creators Academy, not everyone still sees it. They still restrict who can see the stuff, even though you are part of that group. You've, you've now taken your engagement to another level and they're still restricting that. So um, it's even harder if you go to a place like, if you expect people to go to your platform circle or any of these other ones, and, and not go to Facebook, it's going to be a lot harder. Um, I literally just seen another, I actually, it's a group that I'm a part of. Um, they actually were on circle. They actually moved over to Facebook. Just, they just did away with it. 
Uh, Jamie, the reality is a college education won't ever teach you what you'll learn in BCA. BCA teaches you actionable skills you can immediately use to shape and determine your own destiny. I love that, by the way. I might have to swipe that, Jamie, and use that as a little blurb somewhere. That's pretty cool. Uh, thank you for that. And uh, I agree. You know, I was talking to someone the other day about like college in general, and my, my son's going to college to become a, a physical education teacher, uh, an educator. And then um, he's also going to do his own basketball training and stuff and probably have his own digital product business and stuff like that. But I was talking about that the other day. I'm like, you get out of college. Now, these kids that are going for, um, uh, you know, teaching and stuff, they have to intern. So that's kind of like you're getting on, on the job training. Um, so uh, if you go to college and you're not getting that, and oh man, like you're just getting the education. You're not getting the actual implementation and the experience, which I think is huge. Um, so I'm glad that you brought that up, Jamie. Alapandro, what? No Lambo or bikinis? No, not in this show. Not in this show. Uh, my goal for the next year, 2021, is to make my brand a household name. Okay, you know, that's a good goal, but we also need to be realistic. Will that happen in 2021? Probably not. And I don't want to bust your bubble. But what I will say is, what if it's a household name to a thousand people? Think about that. Think about that for a minute. If there's a thousand people out there that are talking about you and your brand, that's pretty powerful, right? A thousand people. So start there and then we grow it, right? I think you could get more than a thousand people in a year, but I'm thinking if you're going to be like the next household name, that's a big, tall task. And I don't think you need to go that big. I think you can go very, very niche, very precise, and really just find those thousand people, those thousand true fans. There was an article written on that at one point. Uh, let's go here. Oh, Aldo, got to go now. Happy New Year to everyone. Thanks, Aldo. Thank you. Hey, Aldo, do me a favor if you watch this back. Get your profile picture, man. I want to see your profile picture. Uh, Derek, my goal is to post a video at least two or three times a week and post daily on my website, et cetera, and work my plan as I calendar it weekly, monthly. Yes, but my only thing there, Derek, is make sure that you do not overcommit to where you then feel like you're, you're failing and then you stop. So I would start with one video, one blog post, and just commit to doing that every single week. Get a rhythm, get a cadence, and then boom. Away you go. All right. Uh, Helipondro, you demand, Scott. Boom. Uh, let's see. Derek, do you create a chat community around followers from groups you join? Uh, no, I have not done a chat community. I've seen those out there. There's actually one called community, I believe. I have not done that. I think it's a very interesting thing, though. Um, and I've even thought about that inside of the academy of having something for that, for people if they want to text if they want to use more of a text-based type thing. Um, even Voxer is good. Slack is good. Um, so there's a lot of cool little apps out there that can allow that to happen. But again, we don't want to add more to people's plates. Uh, Salma, are you coming on Friday? Yes, I will be here Friday. I know it's New Year's, but why not? I'll be here. Uh, I might be playing pickleball on that day. I think the uh, Ohio State plays that night. Um, but yeah, I'll be here. I'll be here. I think uh, I think I need to come on on Friday. And it will be a jam session and it will most likely be something around how to plan and crush 2021, something like that. Let me know. What do you think? What do you think we should talk about on New Year's Day? Um, but yes, I will be here on New Year's Day. Absolutely. 100%. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up. All right. And uh, yes, this was a blatant pitch for Brand Creators Academy. I apologize. No, not really. Because it's, it's awesome. That that's why, and you guys know, I come here, I show up and, uh, I try to give you as much value as I possibly can, but brand creators Academy is, is my, my focus. It's my mission. It's my mission to help those people and to really be innovating in a way that allows people to stay focused, stay committed and keep doing the basics because that's where the results will follow. Okay. And, uh, that's definitely, definitely something that we focus on. It's something that I'm committed to doing even in my own life and in my own businesses. All right. So guys, brandcreatorsacademy.com. If you've not yet applied and you're watching this before, uh, December 30th at 1159 PM Eastern time, go there, make sure you fill out that short little survey. I will be in touch after that. And, uh, we'll send you a private invite if 
you are, uh, if you're a good fit and then, uh, and if not, I'll still message you back and let you know what you need to work on or when it might be a good fit for you. And if you're watching this after the first of the year and you're seeing this, you can still go to brandcreatorsacademy.com and fill out that survey because what we'll be doing is we'll be doing these private opens here periodically throughout the year. All right. So guys, that's it. That is going to wrap up this little coffee talk. Have an awesome, amazing day. And the next time I talk to you, it will be 2021. So uh, super excited about that. So what do you say? Let's get out there and make it happen. Take care, take action, and I'll talk to you soon, guys. Be safe. Be safe.